scene for you. You're on your way to your family's Thanksgiving potluck. You just got off the phone with your mother and you find out that no good dirty rotten sister of yours has made the same sweet potato casserole that you are famous for. The one with the marshmallows. You know what I'm talking about. You're out of options. You've got all these sweet potatoes and almost no ingredients to work with. What do you do? I'll tell you what you do. You're going to make the twice baked maple bacon sweet potatoes. Call your mother back and tell her to preheat that oven to 400 degrees. It's going to take a while to heat up and you need it hot when you get there. You've just gotten to your parents' house for the Thanksgiving dinner. You're running low on time. It's time for a rapid hand wash. Go ahead, turn your sink on, get your hands nice and wet as quickly as you can. There's no time to waste, so only one squirt. Rub it all around as fast as you can. Get in between the fingers on the back of the knuckles. Stick it back into the water. Wash all of that soap off. There's no time to dry. Turn your water off and get to cooking. All right, so now your hands are clean. What do you do next? I'll tell you. It's step number two. Step number two is going to be take your sweet potatoes, toss them on a foiled baking sheet. Once they're on there, arrange them nicely, take a fork, and poke holes in all of them, like this. all your potatoes. Once your potatoes have all been stabbed, you've got to take them to the oven that's at 400 degrees. Run to the oven, open it, stick your potatoes in, set an hour for one hour. Now, you've got to go on to the next step. All right. Now that our potatoes are in, we have about an hour of free time to work on the rest of the recipe. All right, moving on to step number three, and step number three is cook and crumble your bacon. Now, there are a couple of different ways you could do this. You could either cook whole bacon and then crumble it. I personally am gonna cut it up, cook it, and then crumble it, because I think that is the best way to crumble bacon. So, the first thing I'm gonna do is take my four strips of bacon, Put them on a cutting board and cut them up. So, when you're cutting up your bacon, I recommend just grabbing it and cutting little strips of it off. Once your bacon is all cut up, you can just take it, toss it in a pan, turn the heat on, and cook it until it's crispy. Once your bacon is nice and crispy, you're going to want to turn the heat off and transfer it to a bowl. But you're going to want to save that bacon grease. I'll show you why in a minute. Now, you're going to want to transfer that bacon grease into a heat-proof measuring cup. I'm going to add that to your potatoes later. Now, you should have a little less than a quarter cup of baking grease. That's fine. You don't want to have more than a quarter cup of baking grease. If you have more, you want to get rid of it until you only have a quarter cup. Alright, so it's been an hour. It's time to take our sweet potatoes out of the oven and put them onto the counter. Go ahead. Open your oven. Woo, it smells like fall. Grab your sweet potatoes and just put them on the counter to cool for a few minutes. But don't turn your oven off. All right, now that your potatoes are out of the oven, it's time for step number four. And step number four is gonna be cut and hollow out your potatoes. All right, they're still gonna be very hot. I cannot emphasize enough how hot they are going to be and how you should not grab them with your bare hand. Now, in order to cut and hollow out your potato, I recommend grabbing a dish towel or some kind of oven mitt to handle the potatoes. 
Once you have one, you're gonna grab a potato, pick it up, take your knife, and cut it in half lengthwise. So just cut through it. And then you've got two halves of a sweet potato. You can deposit one of your halves back onto your tray. and pick one up to scoop out the inside. Now, if you watch the stuffed zucchini video, it's gonna be similar to that. What we're gonna do is take this spoon and scoop out the insides of this potato, leaving a little bit of an inner wall to create a boat. Watch how I do it. You wanna be as careful as you can be to not break the outer wall. When you're finished, it should look something like this. Once you've hollowed out your potatoes, you can set those shells aside because we're just gonna work with the inside next. Moving on to step number five. Step number five is gonna be make your filling. Now, into your sweet potato mixture goes two tablespoons of maple syrup, a quarter cup or less of bacon fat, one cup of sharp cheddar cheese, and all of your bacon bits all crumbled up. Then you can just take your fork and mix it all up. Now that your mix is all made, it's time to move on to step number six. And step number six is gonna be refill your potatoes. So what you're gonna need to do is take your potato filling and put it in your Ziploc bag and then press it all the way down to the bottom. Then we're gonna cut the corner off of the bag and pipe the potatoes back into the shells. Now, what you're gonna need to do is put your potato mixture into your Ziploc bag Now you've got your potato mixture in your impromptu piping bag. So just take some scissors and cut off the end. I recommend cutting the hole smaller than you think you need because you can always make it bigger but you can't make it smaller again. So go ahead, cut the tip off of the hole. Get that little bit of plastic out of there, you don't want to eat that. And then we can start piping our potatoes. So just gently apply pressure. Doesn't that look beautiful? Once your potatoes have been refilled, you can just sprinkle some cheddar cheese over the top and then you can go back to the oven. Once you've refilled your potatoes and sprinkled cheese over the top, you're ready for step number seven. Step number seven is gonna be the second bake. What you're gonna need to do is take your potatoes and stick them back in the 400 degree oven for 15 minutes. And then we'll take them out and enjoy them. Now we wait. Now that our potatoes are done, let's take them out, let them cool down, and get ready to enjoy. Those smell delicious. Now it's time for the final step, which is gonna be plating. So go ahead, grab yourself a fork or a serving utensil, and move one of your potatoes onto a plate so you can eat it.
And just like that, you're all plated. Now it's time for a little taste test. That was delicious. That'll show that sister of yours who makes the better sweet potatoes. That concludes this week's episode of Cooking Corner with me, Giuseppe Crimi Broly. But it's only one half of the side dish special. So make sure to tune in next week for the other half so you have all the side dishes for your Thanksgiving dinner. If you like this recipe, leave a like below so I know I did a good job. If you like videos like this, subscribe to my channel. I'm putting out new content all the time. If there's something you want to see on the show, leave it in the comments below and I'll try to make it for you. Have a happy Thanksgiving and bye-bye now.